walk with Elf into the country. It's very beautiful here. And I was having a moment to um, kind of think about the new year, think about 2019, think about lived experience in the registered mental health professions, which has been really kind of silent but is emerging. Uh, I'm a lived experience recovered clinical psychologist myself and the founder of Integrate Mental Health. I'm speaking slowly because it's quite cold. <laughs> and um, I posted on Twitter and in the Integrate Mental Health forum about uh, what uh, what it might look like to think about lived experience in the mental health profession, the mental health scene at large in the new year. And um, I think it's about getting together those um, kind of registered professionals with lived experience, i.e. you know, the classic psychiatry, clinical psychology, uh, counsellors, psychotherapists, um, therapists, IAPT, um, CBT, whatever it is you're doing, whether you're with the British Psychological Society, uh, the ACP, the Association for Clinical Psychologists, that's coming up in the new year. Uh, the BABCP, the BACP, social workers who work in mental health, um, you amazing mental health nurses, strong, um, with then, of course, uh, the peer support workers who are being actively recruited for their mental health experience within the NHS. And, and somehow, although I'm sure it happens, it feels like never the twain shall meet, um, but of course we should meet. And um, I feel like the NHS is in a really kind of thoughtful but early learning place about this because you've got uh, people being actively recruited for their lived experience on one side and then on the professional kind of registered mental health scene you've got people feeling like uh, really worried whether they should share their experience and of course that's really personal so it's not it's not um, this isn't a request for suddenly everybody to share, you know, you might share with your close family, that's fine. Uh, but for those who perhaps want to take a more general stance and think about it, um, shh, that's my dog, Alfie. All right, I'm, I'm going to have to throw the stone. Give me, give it. Otherwise he won't shut up. Um, for those who want to take a more general stance or at least see it actively valued by professional bodies within NHS trusts and within uh, professional training courses, uh, those of us who are the registered mental health professionals who feel like we have to be quiet, um, then we need to do something about that. It doesn't mean to say that you have to actively share personally, but you can be an ally for it. Um, and if you are uh, a director of those uh, those particular organisations or if you are um, a, a senior manager in those organisations you know we're looking for uh, peer role models really um, and so this isn't a call out ever and I always say this to uh, people who are in the training courses or the students or people who are kind of on the front line already feeling like they're firefighting within the NHS to just you know to to go even more bravely and kind of start this it, it has to also be met by middle management uh, within the clinical um, places um, has to be met by the top people um, that's going to make it feel safe you know that's going to make it feel okay and that's going to make it uh, destigmatized because of course we stand for all of that out there <laughs> but then we have a bit of a struggle within you know maybe within yeah because that stigma can get internalized but also we have a bit of a struggle within our own um mental health scene you know to to kind of really you know provide an excellent beacon of how to do this and uh the humanity of it and that people struggle because crap happens you know and it has an impact and of course it would and it wouldn't be normal if it didn't um so it can be understood you know i think um to you know 2019 is about kind of tying up what feel like loose ends that haven't met yet um and i'll do my best to do that myself and i know that those uh, members within integrate who are already out there and shouting from the rooftops and and are allied with us we'll also be thinking about it too we've got some really important theses being written about this really good research 
um, happening about lived experience that's going to um, kind of come out uh, in the scene over the next couple of years and we can only learn from it and we can uh, then more specifically understand what it is um, that then can be usefully shared within the therapeutic relationship now that's very particular that needs to be thought about we don't want role reversal and we need containment and we don't want um, those who use services whoever we are <laughs> at any time to worry that uh, the people that they're seeing are unable to um, cope with uh, helping them with their distress you know so it's two different things it's it's destigmatizing lived experience in general and that anyone can have it and it doesn't matter what your role is and then the second thing is you know what we do within the therapeutic encounter because we might be more circumspect about what we share because it is about the other um, and so the focus needs to be kept on that however uh, you know, there is something really important about saying we're in it together. There's something really abo important about conferring hope uh, that this can be met and can be gone through and, and people have done it. And that, that's, that's the excellence of the peer support work that happens. Those peer support workers have been there and they're actively saying it. And there's been some research about how amazing their help is on acute wards. Um, so we need to do this. So I'm going to leave you with that thought. I'm going to finish the rest of my walk, uh, get out in nature, put a warm coat on, um, touch base, recharge, re-energise, get ready for the new year. And, um, and uh, as usual, I, I, I don't know what the new year holds for me, but I'm going to have some conversations maybe around policy, um, maybe around research. Um, I'm discovering as much as anybody else what my path will be back into mental health um, uh, since since I broke down like in 2015 so you know it's it, I've, I've been doing a lot of teaching and speaking um, but I'm, I'm also interested in kind of consolidating um, a position further myself so 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 we'll see, see where the journey leads and just kind of get in there get mucky with it and and you know and just go forward and have and stand by some really brave conversations until they don't have to be brave anymore you know um so wish you all the best for the new year uh lots of love and hugs from me and alfie there he is and um yeah we'll see you see you see you in the new year